Countertops and door handles that kill COVID and other viruses on contact. That very technology has been developed at NC State. Two of the leading scientists tell me they hope this will be made available worldwide. Being able to purchase materials that resist some of the world's deadliest diseases. NC State scientists Richard Spontak and Frank Scholl have helped discover self sterilizing polymers that kill various coronaviruses. Those polymers can be used to coat everything from countertops to door handles to PPE. And we all know that bacteria and viruses, a lot of them, cannot withstand this very acidic environment. So we're killing those pathogens by a very non-specific mechanism which also means that there probably will not be any way that they could evolve resistance. So if someone is infected with COVID-19 and they sneeze, the surface is able to kill the virus in five minutes. This actually works just as quickly as a disinfecting wipe except the big difference is the material that we have continues to disinfect continuously. The team, which also includes Boston University, is working with manufacturer Creighton Corporation as it goes through the necessary regulatory approval process. Eventually, they hope consumers will be able to apply the coating themselves on some of what they may already have in the home. The technology also works on MRSA, and they believe it will work against new viruses that have yet to emerge. We haven't taken pandemics or the potential for pandemics very seriously for a long time because we've been lucky, but clearly we can we see this can happen and it will happen and it will probably happen again and maybe we can make a small contribution to help with that. Both see it as disruptive technology, disruptive in its most positive form. So that we can be a little bit more proactive in terms of protecting people and reducing the tremendous burden on the healthcare industry because of pathogenic based diseases. And it is also shown to be effective against E. coli and influenza A. It could be a big difference for a lot of people, Wes, if they get this off the ground.